Okay folks, uh, Dave here, Silver Diamond. I get a lot of questions, a lot of interest on this, uh, these worms. People have been asking what I get my worm bedding. Well, tree trimming company is more than happy to come drop this mulch off. I let them sit for at least one winter, but preferably two. I just haven't been here long enough to uh, let it sit for two. This, this is one of the best things I've found that I use on mine. My tiller air, and uh, since it's only a year old and some of it's not a 100% decomposed, I'll go ahead and, and till it up and then sift it. So uh, basically, uh, I just give my little tiller. <laughs> This just helps me uh, get it a little more broke down and uh, a little bit easier to show. I'll just fill me up the tote and take it back to the bathroom. Throw it on the truck and uh, we'll go sift it out. Okay guys, we're back over here. Got I got a little uh, sifting box made. About a little half inch wire on the bottom of it. What we'll do, we'll just Do it real quick. Flower bed gets the rest. Now that we got that, now remember the dollar uh, dollar bell peat moss. Remember that no no chlorinated water. And I'm gonna mix mix this a little bit uh a little wet. Can't have too many buckets. Another reason I'm mixing it uh, a little wet. We're gonna we're gonna hit it with these uh, shredded cardboard, and then maybe just a little bit more unsifted. And then here's just a little bit more sifted I got. Now people ask, how do you get the worms? We just sifted uh, one tray, but these worms will dive. There won't be hardly any stuff. They'll they'll go all go right down towards the bottom. Now we did. We did one tray, and look at this. This is this castings. A lot of people ask, you know, what do I do with all the castings? Do you sell them? Or me personally, I mix this at about 50 to 50 with the the mulch from that we tilled, and that's what I pot my uh, I pot a lot of my plants with. We'll just release these worms. Or Look how, I mean, there's just too many to even count, folks. I'm so amazed at how fast these are, are reproduced and how much castings I get. I'm gonna order some of those cloth bags. Probably the next time I, I harvest my castings, I'm probably going, I'll give away a thousand worms or something like that. So keep, keep in tuned. I'm gonna order them cloth bags, give them away. Uh, let me know how they do, how they're shipping. I've never tried to ship them. Uh, I mean, I know how I got them shipped, so. But anyway, just a quick uh, video, guys, on the uh, uh, worm bedding, and uh, have a great day, and God bless.